Okay, trig equations, three equations are distinct methods, quite a lot of work to do, so let's get on, let's get started. First one, what we've got. If we look at the first one, we've got two brackets, multiplying to give zero. Two options here, either this bracket zero or this bracket zero. So for part A, what we're saying is either that bracket is zero or the other bracket is zero. So anyway, we'll get that zero. And so sine theta could be one quarter, or sine theta could be minus five over two. Now, this is a problem straight away. Think of the graph, sine theta, one to minus one, never does it become minus five over two, so that's never zero. That's not going to give us solutions. This one will, though. Sine theta is a quarter. Go to the calculator and... Before I do anything else, actually, I'll just have a look and just check that I'm in radians. I am. And so, inverse sine of one quarter. 0.253. And the question is, where are the other angles? Are there any? We need to go from, look, we need to look naught to pi. And so, 0.253, about a quarter of a radian. About there, cosine positive, all positive, sine positive, tan positive, and so sine is positive here as well. The other one I want is pi minus the 0.253. Let's go to the calculator again. And 2.89 is my other one. Two angles. Part B. Let's move on. Part B. What we've got here is a rather grim looking tan thing. And it's this grim looking bracket that creates the problems here. The way we deal with this is to pretend it's not there. What we do is we quite simply think about a simple equation tangent of x equals 2.4 and if that's true tangent would be 1.18 the angle would be 1.18 and with tangent very easy for the extra angles they just cycle in 180s so we simply add on 180 for the next one Add on pi, 180, pi radians, so 4.32. And if we wanted another one, we would do the same again. 7.46. And on we go. We do all the hard work there. Then what we do is we simply go back to our awkward one. We've figured out this whole thing here is... One of these. And we go as long as we need to. These are quite big, but of course, to get back to this, we need to think theta equals. So we add on pi by 3, divide by 2, and we should get it. So 1.18, this one, add that to pi by 3, and then divide by 2, 1.11. And do the next with 4.32. Add on the pi over 3, divide by 2, 2.68. And I shall leave you to check that that one, if you do it, is bigger than pi. And so we don't need that one. Two answers we want there and there. Done. So the big tip here is ignore these brackets, sine, cos, or tan of something horrible. Solve it as a simple equation and simply go back and unravel the bracket. Always done that way, quick and easy if you do. And our last our last problem here. What we're looking at here, and what we've got to realise, is that this is going to be a quadratic at some point. The problem with it at the moment is the fact we've got a mixture of sine and cosine. And we use this very popular identity. 
sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 and the reason we do is that it tells us that sine squared can be written as 1 minus cosine of squared cosine squared of theta and so back in this what we're looking at is sine squared can be written as that we always want to do that because we don't want a mixture of sine and cosine can't deal with that but if we've got it all the same thing then no problems let's get rid of that bracket Oops, 11 and quadratic, so we make it equal to zero. Add on the cos squared. Add on nine cosine. Subtract the nine. Formula or factorize. I'm going to try and factorize this. Two must be one and two. Nine cos squared. I'm going to try three and three. Three cos, three cos, nine. Cos. And I think it's going to work. If we use plus 6 cos theta, plus 3, that will give me plus 9, that works. So, very much like the first one now, and two brackets equal 0, so either this one equals 0, or that one equals 0. In other words, cosine of theta is minus a third, or cosine of theta it's minus two thirds, and I think we can get we can get answers from both of these. So from theta equals minus two thirds to the calculator. One point nine one, and thinking about where that is, one point nine one is about there. The other negative cosine is down here, and that's bigger than pi. So I don't need that one. That's fine. It's out of range. And let's do this on the second one now. Inverse cosine of minus two thirds. Two point three. And the same thing happens with that one. At two point three, if we think about the next one, somewhere down here, out of range. So that's good. We've got two answers: that one or that one. And the important thing to remember here is that we've got to make it all cosine, create a quadratic, factorise, solve.